Rockstar. I remember the L.A. Noir disputes, and now I'm reading up about Ray Liotta, Nico Bellic, and apparently everyone. Anyway, that's basically the point. Rockstar makes a lot of money. Yeah, their workers don't get paid properly. Nico Bellic's voice actor, Michael Hollick, was like, I get paid more for TV. The union should have negotiated more. Is that right? Because like, there was a voice actor's dispute. And... Was that because of a weak union? Or was it because... of bad management? I think it was like, Disputed by, there was talks about when I was at Eternal Con two years ago with like, uh, the Vic Mignogna voice actor. Ray Liotta got paid a hundred thousand to play Tommy Verretti in Vice City. He didn't like the pay. He liked his performance, etc. I was said about Nick Bellic. Burt Reynolds. Rest in peace. Um, I think offense to some of the stuff that Rockstar did. Like giving him a shirt because he was sweating on set. Sort of old school, sort of paranoid. The version that Hollywood mistreats people too. Of course, L.A. Noir, overworking of people. Um, these games make a lot of money. So they people deserve to get paid. Is it a union not fighting for people's pay? As mentioned by GGA4 guy. Is it... Not getting royalties from programs. Is it... Management not properly compensating... Rockstar seems, despite being a company, a really big company for 20 years, although they've been a company before, they've had these problems. And gaming is a lot of this. It's like a lot of, I mean, some people get paid even less than they do. Indie games. And like, it's tough. Like, on the other hand, you want to get paid. On the other hand, you want a game to do so well and a franchise and a company to do so well. That their brand can generate all this money so that you can get paid. It's a tough balance. What are your thoughts? Like, I'm subscribed.